is the magic of a company being involved with MIT. Uh, and the, the magic is simply that uh, there is no problem which is not of interest somewhere at MIT. And there is no vision uh, for the future that has not yet been developed, which is not of interest to someone to develop that vision. So when companies come to MIT, uh, uh, nowadays, their central research labs are essentially dissipated in most areas. Uh, and in, that's an interesting phenomenon in itself in that in the old days, central research labs used to be extremely important, such as Bell Labs to the AT&T communication system, uh, such as uh, the uh, labs supporting integrated circuit manufacturing. But those are all technology uh, labs at United States Steel. Uh, in those days, uh, labs that supported industries where the technology supply chain has matured and uh, there is no intellectual content that is regarded as that, by that industry as being critical to its uh, survival or even its profit making. Whether that's true or not uh, is subject to discussion and uh, almost certainly the lesson uh, that we at MIT learn over and over again is that it isn't true. Uh, that there's always room for innovation and there's always going to be a paradigm changing uh, new technology that companies need to be aware of. So the magic in tapping into MIT for a company is getting in touch with those potential paradigm changing technologies, uh, developing a mindset which is open to recognizing the value of those technologies and the ability to use them within your own company, and then tapping into the supply of intellectual power in the form of faculty and students as future employees uh, that will uh, enable your company to follow the new path. If one is dealing with uh, companies in an array of cultures, and uh, let's say a developing economy, uh, the most important thing is the receptivity on both sides to uh, mutual uh, discourse. Uh, if the company is truly open uh, to moving in new directions and developing new technologies, MIT has a thirst uh, for such opportunities. And uh, I would say that you would be met with a very open conversation uh, and uh, a, a get a pretty good view of what the opportunities are available uh, with the uh, infrastructure and intellectual power that is available in that, uh, in that economy. Uh, it, what your observation that uh, we're seeing more and more companies from abroad uh, coming to MIT uh, is probably uh, an observation that has lasted for a very long time. And uh, indeed, I would say the uh, power of MIT to influence uh, is much greater outside of the borders of this country than within the borders of this country at the corporate level. And uh, I think for that reason we see those companies coming.